Okay, well, um, I'm actually here with uh, Steve Levin, most well known for the Today Show, but he's been uh, ambassador for Avalon Waterways for the last five years. And um, thanks for taking the time this afternoon with us, Steve. Pleasure, Brett. And um, before we uh, we go any further, Steve, why don't you tell the people that are watching um, why we're here on Panorama and where we boarded the ship? Well, we boarded the ship three. You lose top track when you're travelling in this very civilised fashion. Uh, we boarded the ship in Frankfurt in Germany and it's uh, a five night cruise we're doing essentially media and travel agents retail and wholesale and we get off in Amsterdam in under 24 hours from now. And Steve, um, I mean, in the background here you can see we're on uh, quite a busy river. Um, we've just left Cologne in Germany and um, how, how do you find uh, how do you find river cruising? I love it. I, I have to tell you though, I knew nothing about river cruising, absolutely nothing. Had never even heard of river cruising um, until about five, six years ago when Stuart Williams from Globus Avalon approached me to be their ambassador. Um, but up until then, I, I had no idea uh, about river cruising, what was involved, the standard of accommodation when you actually got on a river cruiser, uh, the itineraries that were available. Uh, anything like that. And Steve, um, on the uh, Panoramas, Panorama is obviously a new ship for um, for Avalon with a lot of new innovations. Mm. How have you, um, first of all I guess, how have you found the food on board? I think the food's been terrific from the buffet l breakfasts and lunches to the, the multi-course uh, dinners at night with local wines thrown in for good measure. I've, I've been unable to, to fault any aspect of cruising on this new Avalon panorama. But then, you know, Brett, I've, I've done five river cruises with Avalon now, and I've, I've been hard pressed to find anything to criticise about, about any of them at all. Well, Steve, um, I guess then that leads me to my next question is, if you've, you've been on five uh, river cruises with Avalon, what, um, what's with the, what's one of the new innovations that you really like on, on Panorama? I like the fact that on this one, on this river cruiser, in contrast to the other uh, Avalon river cruisers, I like the layout of the, of the staterooms, I like the fact that this is an all sweet river cruiser, the first that Avalon has put onto the waters, and I understand it's the first all sweet river cruiser for any of the river cruise companies. And I like the fact that, as stupid as it sounds, that your bed faces the windows. And with Avalon Waterways, you don't have a balcony, um, but you've got floor to ceiling, as you can see, floor to ceiling windows, and you wake up in the morning, you throw the curtains open, and there it is, there's Europe, just peacefully drifting by. I think it's a very civilized way to see Europe. Yes, yeah, I must admit, this is my first river cruise, and um, yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm really loving it. So Steve, what would you say to um, what would you say to someone that's watching this uh, this video, um, that's uh, thinking about taking a river cruise but just really hasn't made up their mind yet? What would you what would you say to them that might sort of help them make their decision on taking a river cruise? I would say to them, and I know it sounds like a commercial, but but <laughs> I mean I'm, I'm I'm saying this quite sincerely. Um, if you've had enough of checking in and out of airports, of going through security, of checking in and out of hotels of getting on and off buses if you're traveling with a tour group, if you've had enough of that and you really want to see Europe and you don't want to say, for example, drive yourself and rely on hard copy maps or GPS navigating devices, if you want to get on, unpack and just sit back and enjoy, say, if you're traveling from on the river from Amsterdam to Budapest, or, or which is a 14 or 15 day cruise, just get on, unpack and in, relax and enjoy and see Europe. Uh, this is the way to do it. Well, Steve, um, I really appreciate your time this afternoon, and um, I'm sure that the people uh, that watch this uh, video will get a, a better insight to not only uh, the new panorama, but uh, also a little bit about um, river cruising in itself. And maybe, Steve, just to finish, mm -hmm. why don't um, why don't you just quickly open the window there for our viewers and Pleasure. show them how easy it is to uh, this is it. to be I mean, part of the world. Literally speaking, Brett, as you know, throw it open. Wow. Open the and there's Europe. Fantastic. Tomorrow morning, you'll throw open this window, 
and throw the curtains back and there will be sheep and cattle and horses literally within touching distance on either side of the river cruiser. I mean, really, could you see Europe a better way? Ah, and Steve, you're a gadget man. I'm a gadget man. And uh, how have you found the, uh, the wireless on board? Has that been handy? I understand that uh, uh, Avalon is now making the use of Wi-Fi free for all, cu all passengers on their all their river cruises haven't had a problem. There was one hiccup yesterday for a couple of hours because we were sailing on a river that had uh, high ranges, high mountain ranges, right. and that blocked the satellite. But apart from that, uh, instant getting on through wi onto your uh, computers, laptops, whatever, uh, your mobile phones using Wi-Fi and a very strong signal. Yeah. Yes, I've found the same. Yeah. Well, Steve, no, it's been um, great. Thanks again for your time this afternoon, Thank and, you, and uh, we'll enjoy the rest of our cruise for tonight and off tomorrow. Won't be hard to do. Okay, thanks, Steve.